quarter teaspoon of salt and right. freshly ground black pepper. I'll do this so, so that I'm, yes. I feel like I'm helping. <laughs> For the first time ever, we're having the actual genius behind the recipe here to tell us about it, so I don't have to just tell whoever's here all the stuff myself. Her name's Jenna Hamshaw. She has Hi, been our vegan sensei for a very long time now. <laughs> like, started I love with that title. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you well, you have represented veganism and just plant-based eating for years and years at Food 52. Yeah. So we're gonna be making Jenna's, I wanna say the full title right, so I have to look at it. <laughs> no, that's fine. We're making Jenna's deli bowls with smashed chickpeas. So it's basically a smashed chickpea salad that forms the basis of a deli bowl with a ton of really wonderful other colorful crunchy things. Yep. I am half Greek, and when I was growing up, my mother put dill in absolutely everything. Really? So it remains one of my favorite herbs to use. Yes, absolutely. Did you like it when you were a kid too? I loved it when I was a kid. Yeah. I was I was a good little Greek girl. Tomatoes, lemon, and dill were my feet, my like three favorite things to eat in yeah. the world. Yeah. So we have what do we have we, here? Three cups of chickpeas? Yes. Yeah. I'm looking at my own recipe. Yeah we Yep. Two cans, three cups. So what I like to do is just use one of these guys to mash them partially. Mm -hmm. So I like to still have some bigger pieces um, in the salad. So I just kind of do a rough smash at the beginning. And then as you mix everything up, they get a little more smashed anyway. Cool, so here we go. So let's see. All our crunchy stuff are, goes in. Yep, let's put our crunchy things in. A friend of mine made these recently and commented that the capers were an addition she loved. You don't see it in a lot of smashed chickpea recipes. I think she appreciated the extra brininess. Yeah. We need Tables. our tahini. Yes. Six tablespoons. And this was so one thing that really attracted me to your recipe mm -hmm. in addition to all the other fun benefits. I love that you can do mayo if you want kind of a more straight like chicken salad you know, potato yep. salad experience, but the tahini is such a great twist. It's so easy, right? It goes so well with everything else. I got the vinegar, great. so let's do our mustard. Oh, great. And then a yes. quarter teaspoon of salt and right. freshly ground black pepper. I'll do this so, so that I am yes. I feel like I'm helping. <laughs> it's it's a, you know what, this recipe is so easy. It is, it is all good. And then I think we just start mixing all yeah. of this together. This is like a self-contained salad in itself. Absolutely, And yeah. then the rest of the recipe is a particular way to dress it up with other good stuff. That's right. You could double this up. You could make one batch to serve with the bowls and then just have another batch to use in other ways. It's looking ready, so now we can make our dressing and the other stuff we need for the bowl. Okay, what would you like to do with the tahini dressing? You mean in terms of who, which of us makes it? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's like juicing lemons, grating garlic, whisking tahini in water. And, and do you find that it usually more. like seizes up and then Kind of relaxes. And then it chills out. Yep, totally. But if you just kind of keep going, it gets this nice pasty texture that remains relatively smooth. One rogue seed. Damn. I know. There's always one. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh, that's looking so nice and creamy. Yeah, it really is. I'm someone who always put a little bit of maple syrup or agave syrup in like my vinaigrettes. Mm -hmm. And at some point I asked myself, would it taste good in a creamy dressing too? And I actually love the way it sort of brings out the acidity of the lemon a little bit. Our dressing is ready. That means that basically our deli bowls are ready. We can make our bowls. <laughs> So arugula is my favorite salad green and what I like to use as the base for these, but baby romaine or any sort of spring mix that you have is completely fine. More dressing on top. This is the important drizzle part. Yay. So pretty. Bowls, amazing. Oh my gosh. Know, Thank you I'm so excited. much. This is like too pretty to eat almost. Mm. 